Diolch, uh, Deputy Lewydd. Um, Ysgrifennu the Cabinet about the chi'n gwybod mae Rheilffordd HS2 wedi cael ei ddynodi yn brosiect Lloegr a Chymru. Uh, er bod na ddim milltir ohoni yma yng Nghymru ac er bod astudiaethau yn dangos yn glir y bydd o'n costio arian uh, i'r economi uh, Gymreig. Mae'r dynodiad yn golygu na fydd y Cymru yn cael dyraniad barnet llawn um, ar y costau gwreiddiol ar yw 55 billion o bynnaeth. Hynny'n golygu Cymru'n colli rhyw 25 milion o bynnaeth flwyddyn. Dyn ni'n sôn erbyn hyn o bosib am gan billion o bynnaeth ar gyfer y prosiect yma. Hanner can million o bynnaeth flwyddyn i Gymru dros prosiect ar yw 5 mlynedd mae hynny'n saith gan ta hanner o filiena o bynnaeth. Um, allwch chi ddeith ar fi be ydych chi a Llywodraeth Cymru wedi bod yn Wneud i diolch o gafael ar yr uh, dyraniad uh, barnet llawn yna. Fel, mae gogledd i'w erddo'n ar albyn yn ei gael, wrth gwrs. Well, can I first of all welcome the member to this new position. Um, it's very good to see a fellow North Wales in an economy uh, brief, and um, I'm delighted that one of his first actions coming into the role is to welcome the announcement of the preferred route for the third men on crossing, a particularly important uh, infrastructure <coughs> program uh, serving his own constituency. Um, his predecessor in the role was very keen to promote on many occasions a certain racing track uh, in South Wales. I am hopeful that the member will be keen to promote a certain racing track in his own constituency as well, the excellent uh, track Morn. In terms of HS2, I think all of the evidence shows that North East Wales would be a major beneficiary of that particular investment, provided the right solution is adopted at the Crew Hub. Equally, for many other parts of Wales, and principally South Wales, the impact on the economy could be considerable and could be very negative indeed. And that's why we've said to the UK Government that alongside a consequential, we would also wish to see further and greater investment in mitigating the adverse impact on the economy of South Wales and to ensure that opportunities for the whole of North Wales are maximised, for example, through electrification. Furthermore, we pressed the case as well for those trains that would be utilised on the high-speed to rail service to be built here in Wales. If they were to be built here in Wales, that would provide invaluable work for potentially more than 1,000 people. Thank you for, for the kind words and, and the reference to, to North Wales and what's in it uh, uh, for North Wales from HS2. You say provided the right connections are made, made at Crewe. I think we, we haven't got the assurances that, that we need on the correct, uh, connections at, at Crewe. To give uh, mm -hmm. some perspective uh, about the costs we're talking about here, the first 6.6 .6 miles north out of London is projected to cost £8.25 billion. Pounds. That's £1.25 billion per mile. You could fully fund uh, the reopening of uh, Carmarthen to uh, Aberystwyth uh, railway line, uh, electrify Cardiff to Swansea, reopen the Geirwen to Amlwch rail line in my constituency for the cost of a single mile there of HS2 and uh, still have enough change uh, left for a lifetime of sandwiches, no doubt, on a new Transport for Wales buffet trolley. Now, the, the Welsh Government has supported... Uh, the project in, in the past, despite you yourself quoting the UK Government uh, study that shows the loss of economic activity uh, in the South in particular, but that's for the whole of Wales, remember. Can you name another Government uh, that would willingly support a project knowing that it's costing uh, its own economy and that it'll uh, damage that economy uh, for the long term? Let's just get a few things straight. The, the solution at Crew Hub is absolutely essential. This is not a side issue. If, if, if the solution at Crewe is not uh, beneficial to North Wales, then that will lead to, the imp to HS2 having an adverse impact on the north of the country as well as on the south. Now, Wales has already received additional funding over the current spending review period as a result of the increases in the Department of Transport budget, which in no small part is due to HS2. And we are making a compelling case for uh, further uh, consequentials to be delivered to us um, as soon as possible. But I think it's important to say that in rebalancing the UK economy, we need to ensure that we rebalance all of the Welsh economy as well. And many parts of Wales interact very closely with other parts of the UK, principally those border areas. Now, it's essential, therefore, that UK government spend that serves the purpose of cross-border economic flow 
is utilised as much as possible. That means improving the M4 corridor, it means improving uh, the Great Western Line, it means improving uh, the North Wales coastline, and it means improving that cross-border area in North East Wales and, of course, between Mid Wales and the Midlands as well. It means drawing down far more money than has been spent by the Department of Transport on rail services and rail and infrastructure in Wales um, in the future than has been the case in the past. I, I note that the particular projects that the members said could have been um, paid for by the HS2 <coughs> programme were all in Plaid Cymru constituencies. I would suggest that it's essential as we move forward that we don't seek to identify projects that would be only beneficial to our own uh, immediate areas and we actually rely on the expert advice of the National Infrastructure Commission for Wales whenever and however possible. That commission is now up and running. I will be seeking advice from that Commission. I would urge all members, given that its independence, all members to make uh, uh, statements of support for any infrastructure programme based on the evidence that is provided and the advice that is provided by those experts on the Commission. Forgive me for getting up too early. I thought you were never going to stop. Um, you, 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 you. No. No, I make the decisions when people stop, and you're in danger. I quoted a number of projects, they were all in the Plaid Cymru constituencies. I said that it could pay for the Cardiff to Swansea electrification. Now, yes, they will be in Plaid Cymru constituencies uh, one day, but we're not quite there yet. I mean, to deal, with your, to deal with your deflections, you make my point for me. You, ma you make my point for me by saying that crew and getting that connection there is important. The whole point is that that connection hasn't been assured yet. So that's another failing in terms of what there is in HS2 for Wales. On Barnet's consequentials, uh, I must say, uh, to get the, the understanding right, uh, Scotland has a comparability factor of 100%, which means in simple terms. Uh, that it is considered that it's not a project for Scotland, therefore it gets an additional consequential. Wales has a, uh, has a comparability factor of 0%, and that is why Wales is losing out to the tune of probably up to £50 million pounds, uh, per year. Now, considering uh, that it's clear Wales will not receive a full consequential, uh, that Welsh companies have lost out in the procurement process, whatever your hopes for building trains in the future, we haven't got that assured, uh, the potential cost to the Welsh uh, economy, that there's no news on electrification in the north or, or in the south, South, given that you failed to win that full consequential, isn't it time that the Labour uh, government in Wales changed its mind and argued against HS2 because it is against Wales's interests? Yeah, yeah. I was sorry to hear the member respond in such an agitated and uncomradely way. I think it's important to recognise that on many issues, on, ma on many issues, I think we would agree. And on the particular issue of rail investment, uh, there is no difference, I'm sure, across the chamber in our views that more resource should be spent in Wales. But the member has already highlighted that he would wish to take on responsibility for spending Welsh taxpayers' money on projects that the UK government should be investing in, such as the electrification of Cardiff to Swansea. That is a UK government responsibility. That is not a Welsh government responsibility, and the money should come from the UK Government, why do you not challenge the UK government over this issue and say instead you would wish to take on that spending? It's absurd. It's absurd. I know that we're in the period of Halloween with scary stories and practical jokes, but your idea of spending Welsh taxpayers' money on services and infrastructure that should be paid for by the UK government is nothing short of a joke. <laughs>